medicinal power of cannabis was, was known from, from the past century and millennia. And in the fact, today, when I treated some diseases, so if we go backwards, 100 years, so we can find uh, records about treatment of such diseases. So it's nothing new. And this is evidence-based treatment. There's uh, piles and piles of scientific literature showing this for pain, for uh, neurologic disorders, for a few of other. Patient can benefit of uh, cannabis uh, as medical use from different uh, aspects. First is to be able to have an alternative to uh, drugs or prescribed medicine that doesn't work. So that's the main case. Uh, it also helps other medication to work better. If we're talking about cancer patients, for example, they will still have their chemotherapy, but they will be able, by using cannabis, to have less no nausea, uh, less vomiting effect, gain appetite, and, uh, and actually counter the side effect of this other uh, prescribed medicine. The, to be able to have the full understanding of what are the implications, you need to be able to look it on the objective way. So the scientific approach gives these uh, opportunities. And, uh, and in order to do this right, you need to have a strict protocol so that you can really say, this is what is making this effect, and this is not what is making it. So you can really draw the line of, uh, from the myth to the reality. When it's not legal yet, each patient must decide if one's legally die or illegally survive. If it's in accord with the scientific knowledge, it doesn't make any sense in a developed country like Hungary to prohibit this by law. This seems to me rather unconstitutional. Government may allow the medical use of cannabis and the government may allow the uh, medical use of uh, cannabis extracts. And even, uh, you know, there is such a body, International Narcotics Control Board, recently in its report for 2014, which was published last year, they clearly stated that it is possible to use cannabis for medical purposes and it is 100% in line with the provision of the 1961 Convention. Don't be afraid when somebody tells you cannabis that you already go with police. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to learn what is medicinal cannabis. Don't be afraid to invite specialist physicians which, has, uh, which have knowledge and experience with treatment of patients and successful treatment. It's extremely important to keep the two discussions separate. I mean, one discussion is about the use of cannabis for medical treatment, one discussion. The other discussion, which I feel is legitimate but separate, is the legalization or decriminalization of cannabis. I mean, those two have nothing to do with each other. People who actually are behaving fully in accord with the evidence-based medicine, but they are criminals doesn't make much sense, so there should be some reglementation. And last but not least, it's important to work actively with decision makers. One of the key things that, uh, that I see across the, the world is that when patients get involved, it's the only way that's going to move politicians and move doctors. Uh, patients need to be an active participant in their own health care. And that means not just sitting by and, and, and hearing what the doctors are saying, it means actually if there's a better treatment, bringing that education and that information to doctors uh, and being their own advocate for governments.